Hi everyone, it's Janice from Yoga Moments and today we have a quick little yoga flow. It's great for anybody who you know is working long hours, is on their feet for a long time. Just a quick gentle full body head to toe stretch. So it's gentle, it's easy, it's available to everybody. It uh, doesn't matter what your ability level or um, ability is. So come on into a seat. We're going to stay in a chair for the whole practice. Uh, it's another chair practice, so no excuses. Everyone can do this. And we're going to bring our sit bones kind of to the edge. Not right at the edge, but you know, so that our legs can have room to move. And we're going to find that alignment. So head over heart, heart over pelvis, and we're going to draw up from our pelvic floor. So engage the pelvic floor, draw the navel in and up, lift the heart, and close your eyes and just check in for a second here. Take a couple of breaths, maybe open the shoulders, move the shoulder blades to the back, ground down through the sit bones, and create a little space between the ears and the shoulders. One more breath here. If there's anything that you're holding, anything that you don't need from your day or from yesterday or from whenever, on your next exhale, just let it go. So nice big inhale, nice full breath. Exhale. Let it all out. So flutter your eyes open. And as promised, uh, it's head to toe. But yoga is about creating the awareness and stretching kind of our mind as well as the body. So it's a full body experience. And we're gonna bring our feet, press into all four corners, draw up a little from the arches. So if I look down, you know, I can see my big toe and we're not collapsing in or out. Uh, if you need to widen your stance a little bit, go for it. But find what's comfortable for you today. And we're gonna bring our hands to our jaw and just slowly work out a little bit of love for the jaw. Often we hold tension here and we don't even know it, so just a little massage. Maybe come up behind the ears or the eyebrows and the temples. Have some fun. Infuse a little bit of love here. Nobody's watching you at home, or maybe they are, but who cares? This is a good time for you, a good time to get selfish for yourself, and that's not a bad thing. So many people think being selfish is bad, but Tending to our own needs is perhaps kind of the most honorable thing we can do. So we're going to be mindful of our alignment and we're going to slowly draw some circles with the nose. Big circles, small circles, you can close your eyes or maybe you just notice your gaze soften. Draw your shoulders away from your ears if they're coming up. And if you have it, Switch and go the other direction. So I promised a quick, easy flow just because sometimes you've had that busy day and you've only got, you know, 10 or 12 minutes to give yourself. And um, if you want to linger though, absolutely go for it. So if you're like, oh, this feels really good, keep going. Uh, when you're ready though, we're gonna come back to neutral. Draw our right ear to our right shoulder. And we're going to very slowly, see if we can articulate it here, draw our chin to our chest, roll through to the left ear, so left ear to the left shoulder, and draw your right shoulder away from your ear here. So if you want a little more, very mindfully, very gently, because we want to be kind to our neck, um, you can kind of move your elbow back and forth a little bit, and just see how that changes the stretch. Sometimes you can go a little bit deeper. It'll feel really good if you carry a lot of tension in your neck or in your shoulders. And then we're gonna take our chin to our chest again. Come back to the right ear to the right shoulder. And same thing here. You can drop your left shoulder. Try and maintain that integrity. So keep sitting up, hug into the midline, navel draws in and up, heart is lifted. And then maybe we just find a little gentle movement, and I'm, it's, it's very gentle. You know, I'm not swinging my elbow around, should feel really good. In 
inhale, it'll come back up. So if you need a break, if you're working on the core, shake it out and see if you can come back to, to that alignment where we've got our head over our heart, heart over our pelvis. Uh, it can be really, really hard for some people. So if you find it challenging, you're not alone. You're doing awesome. Um, and if you're like, but why are we doing this? It's because when we find that alignment, we give ourselves more room to grow. And when we start doing stretches and building our own yoga practice, uh, it really helps us make the most out of, of each moment here. So and it's all about living in the moment. So we're going to raise our right arm, kind of fingers pointing down towards the ground. I'm going to draw my right shoulder into my shoulder socket. And with my left hand, I'm going to bring my left thumb to my right palm. And I'm not pulling with my left arm, I'm actually reaching with my right forearm. So right shoulder's in the right socket, right forearm pressing forward. So we're actually using these muscles to help create that stretch. You can wiggle the right fingers. Build that awareness, play here. So even if you've had a long day, let it go. And then we'll come to the left side. So right thumb to left palm. And left fingers pointing down. Draw your left shoulder into your left socket. Reach forward with the right, or sorry, with the left forearm. Deepen your breath here. So I know we're not being super active, but the breath is still important. And we're gonna flip our palms, so right hand, kind of like we're saying stop, and bring your left hand into your right palm, between your thumb and your index finger. And same thing, right shoulder draws into your right shoulder socket, into the shoulder girl. And with our left hand, we're just creating resistance. We're not actually pulling back on our hand or our fingers, but we're just gently reaching forward with that right heel of our hand. Should feel really good if you spend a lot of time at a computer or if you're texting all the time. A little stretch and we'll take it to the left side. So left shoulder into your left shoulder girl. Reach forward with the left heel of your hand. And the right hand just creates a little resistance. It should feel really good. All right. So we're getting there. Top to bottom here today and a little bit of cat-cow. So you can bring your hands to your knees. You can slide back a little if you need. Um, on an exhale, so follow your breath. We're gonna round through our spine. On an inhale, we're gonna rock forward all the way. Heart lifts up, shoulders draw away from the ears. Follow your breath. On an exhale, round through. Inhale, come forward. So I'm gonna to turn to the side just so you can sneak a peek at the video. I really do round through my back when I'm, when I'm rounding through and then coming forward on the inhale. And if you're feeling a little crazy today, um, you can do circles, keep your sit bones nice and firmly in the chair. On an inhale, lead with the heart. So open that heart. It's okay to be a little real, it's okay to be a little vulnerable. Exhale, round through. Inhale forwards. Exhale, round through. So come back to center. Take a moment here, check your alignment, check in with yourself. So our feet are planted, we're not you know, shifting one side or the other. And we're gonna find that alignment, that drawing up. So Uriyana Bandha, navel draws in and up. Pelvic floor is lifting up. We're going to inhale, reach the right hand nice and tall. Maybe you wiggle the fingers. And on an exhale, we're going to stretch to the left. So right hand comes over top. And we're being careful here not to collapse into our left side, but we're drawing up equally from all four sides of our torso. Maybe you look up towards the sky. Maybe you make a wish. Who knows? Find what feels good here, what feels natural for you. Keep breathing. On an exhale, we'll come back, take it to the left side. So mindfully, like you're drawing your hand up, so we don't just have to throw our arm up, but mindfully sweep the arm up, reach it up all the way, maybe you wiggle the fingers and exhale, left hand comes over top. So 
Go deep in the breath here. You should feel a really nice stretch on the left side. And even if you're here, uh, just deepening your breath is really going to open up your thoracic cavity. Should feel really good. Nice deep breath. On an exhale, come all the way down. And we're going to come into a seated forward fold. So again, leading with the heart. We're going to come forward. You can bring your hands down your, your thighs and down your shins if you prefer. And we're going to let our head be nice and heavy. And again, deepen your breath here. So open up that back. You should feel your breath just do the expansion. And if coming all the way forward is not available for you today, you can always, you can keep your feet where they are, but if you need to walk them out, walk them out. Bring your hands to your knees. Reach forward with the heart and however far you're comfortable with. Then you can start to round. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Wherever you're at today, honor it, enjoy it. Maybe you even start to love it. One more big sweet breath in. Inhale, draw up. And we'll give our shoulders one nice inhale, roll up, exhale down. So we'll come in to our hips now, literally head to toe. We're going to lift the right foot up, bend at the knee. Right knee comes to right, or right knee comes to the left. Wait a second. <laughs> right ankle comes to left knee. I've taken several anatomy classes and it still gets me. So coming into that alignment, that nice lift through our torso, heart's lifted. If it's comfortable to you, you can lean forward a little bit. You should feel a nice stretch in the outside of your right hip. If this isn't available to you, just draw your right knee up as far as you can. If you need a towel or a strap to help you, go for it. Either way, uh, if we're just lifting our knee or if we're, if we're in a seated pigeon, uh, our, foot is, our right foot is flexed. So we add a little protection to our knee, a little security for our knee. One more deep breath. On an exhale, we'll switch to the other side. So right foot comes down with control. Inhale, left foot comes up. Maybe squeeze it in and you stay here today. You can draw circles with your foot. Or our left ankle comes to our right knee. I got it that time. And again, finding that length. So we really get the most out of our stretches um, and maybe the most out of life when we're in alignment with ourselves. So a little metaphor there. But see if you can open up the left hip. Nice deep breaths. And if you don't feel anything, if you're like, oh, I don't feel a big stretch, that's okay. Bring the breath. That's the first step. So uh, we grow in stability before we actually grow in a lot of our postures because um, that's really just the easiest and best place to grow from. You don't want to grow chaos. You want to grow from a place of strength and stability. On an exhale, we'll release. And then I'm bringing my sit bones pretty close to the edge again, maybe like an inch from the edge. And I'm going to plant my left foot, so I'm really going to press into all four sides of the, my left foot and draw up from the arch. I'm going to drag my right foot back a little bit. So if you don't have room for this, um, you might just have to work in a little bit of a different space or turn somewhere where you can. But I'm going to plant my hands on either side of the chair and just lower my knee. So my right foot is still flexed. I'm literally just drawing it straight back. But I'm reaching my right knee down. And I'm drawing up with my heart. So I'm just opening a little bit of space here in the front of my hip and in my right quad. And again, a little bit of breath. My left leg is providing stability. Nice, easy breath. Should feel nice and open. On an exhale, we'll come back. Take it to the left side. So before we take it to the left side, set your foundation. Plant your right foot. Plant your hands on either side of the chair. And then when you're ready, draw your left foot back. Reach the left knee down. And then start to open. Lift your chest up to the sky. Maybe you look up. Couple of big breaths here. 
And on the next hill, we'll come back. Then we'll extend our feet here. Extend our knees. Maybe you start by pointing the feet. Feel a nice stretch in the front of your ankle. If your knees crack like mine, hello. Won't be sneaking up on anybody too soon. And then when you're ready, you can keep a soft bend in your knee if you have to. Fold the toes up. So bring your toes up towards your face. Reach through the heels. This is one option. Uh, I also have a blanket here. So another option if you wanted to come into standing is to just fold your blanket up. Mine's already nice and folded. And just step your toes up, heels on the floor. And you can have a chair here. And then just play with your weight. So wherever you are, if you're seated, enjoy that stretch. You can keep the knees bent, but you should feel a nice stretch in the back of the legs. Slow it down. We're almost there. You're doing awesome. And then I'm going to come back to seated. I have, and if you don't have this, this is okay, but I totally recommend seeing if you can find one. This is one inch doweling and it's pretty amazing. A reflexology friend of mine recommended this and I recommend it to everyone. It's, yeah, maybe seven or eight inches. One inch doweling and I literally use it to just roll out my feet. So a little foot massage here. And if you're like, oh, but Janice, I don't have that at home. That's okay. We'll draw our feet up again. Maybe give your feet a little massage. If you happen to be at a hardware store, Pick up some doweling. It's a game changer. I work in healthcare and I give it to a lot of people. I'm like, here, just roll out your feet because it feels good and our feet carry us for most of our life, all of our life. And it's good to treat them with kindness. So rub out the right foot a little bit, massage. Maybe you massage the toes, the arch. I'll take a little bit of time here, massage the left foot, see if you can find something that feels good, maybe create a little more space. Um, if you do have something that you can roll out, I don't know, maybe some old garden hose or like a soup can, just be careful not to, to crush anything, go gently. Um, and even when we're doing this, we're still bringing our alignment here, so even I started to collapse a little bit. If you're doing it, you're not alone. And then, when you're ready, we're going to sit on back, take a moment for ourselves. So, open the chest a little, relax your shoulders, close your eyes. Palms can be in your lap, they can be at your side, they can be facing forward. If you feel like you want a little more grounding, you can put your hands face down or palm down on your lap. A little more receiving, you can open up your palms. And just find some places to soften here. Last yoga move for this gentle stretch. Maybe you just bring a little yoga smile. And from my heart to yours, Namaste.